I was getting ready to brew a couple gallons of kombucha when I realized that my SCOBY hotels needed attention. I've had lots of questions on what do I do with all of these SCOBYs and how do I maintain a SCOBY hotel. So since it's time for me to deal with mine, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. This is my SCOBY hotel. This is where I put my SCOBYs when I don't need all of them. But since I do kombucha classes and I give all the participants scobies and a starter, I keep a lot. So I have several scoby hotels. Every time you brew kombucha, or if you're brewing it continuously, maybe once a month, you want to separate and feed the scobies in your scoby hotel so they don't starve. When I realize that my scoby hotel needs attention, I will look at the top and if there's no liquid over the top scoby sometimes I will just take that one out and get rid of it but when you take it out they're all going to be connected and what you want to do is pull those apart I'm going to discard the top one I'm going to condense my scoby hotels into two instead of four so I'm just going to start taking these out making sure they're separated Normally, the ones on the bottom are not fused together, but if you're not careful, you'll have a whole jar of one huge, thick SCOBY. This one right here is kind of thick. At one time, this one was probably on the top. And if they don't want to come apart easily, then you can definitely leave them together. This liquid has been in here for some time. So I'm gonna discard this and add some new liquid. The ones that look really bad, since I have so many, I'm gonna get rid of those. And I'm gonna get rid of this liquid. And I have some fresh sweetened green tea for my two gallons of kombucha. I just took some out and I'm just gonna pour this in because the sugar and the caffeine is gonna feed these scobies. And I'm gonna continue with my other scoby hotels. And if you want to, you can write the date on it. One, what's today? The 10th, 18, and I can put fed. So they were fed, I know that they were fed on January 10th. Then what you want to do is put your coffee filter on the top. I like to use the non-bleached. And then you just stick it back in the pantry or wherever you like to keep it, the cabinet, the counter, until you need these. I like to have two different SCOBY hotels because if by chance something happens, say a gnat somehow got into one, all of those scobies are gonna be ruined. You'll have a backup. I keep my scobies for my different teas separate. So I have my green tea scoby hotel here and my yerba mate scoby hotel. I store both of these in the same place in my pantry. Then I have my John scoby hotel, which is getting quite full. I keep it in the kitchen cabinet because you don't want any cross-culturing occurring. And then I keep my water keeper across the house on the kitchen table. So to feed my yerba mate, which is in desperate need, I have brewed up some yerba mate. I put sugar in it so it's sweetened. I will let this cool to room temperature, strain it and pour it over my Yerba Mate Scobies. So make sure if you're keeping a Scoby hotel, you're keeping your Scobies happy. If you go without feeding them for too long, the one on the top will be beautiful. I've had people say, oh, I'm growing some beautiful Scobies, which I kind of tore this one up, but you see how white and smooth that is? That is a hungry Scoby. Scobies should be ugly. <laughs> The uglier the scoby, the healthier it is. So keep that in mind and keep your cultures happy. So if you have any more questions about scobies or scoby hotels, send me a comment.